who the fuck bakes brownies from scratch? Do you not? <laughs> it takes like 20 minutes. He said, do you not? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck do I look like? I am American. We are back. We are here with the bone daddy, the big old breasties, the vampire of <laughs> suckle, and uh, the well-dressed vampire rat Leordio, Demiurge. Mm. He's kind of like Leorio, I guess. I haven't seen Naruto, so I wouldn't know. Da oh, shit! <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, what? What you see? <laughs> Last episode, we saw a great battle. And our, mm. our alligator traveler, alligator, lizard man traveler got some cheeks. He got clapped. Well, everybody who fought got clapped. But he got resurrected. Now he has a lisp. Um... And I don't, I don't know if they're gonna. They said to safeguard the bodies of everybody else, but I don't know if they're gonna bring back the other people. I hope they do, though. That was a really good last episode. A lot happened in terms of the story and unraveling mysteries. So I just want to find out what happens next. Yeah. Absolutely, I'm super ready. So let's just get into it and see what's going on because I need to know what's happening in the background because I still don't get it. So we need to figure this out. So anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media. Join the Discord. Alrighty, bro. Yep. <laughs> like to see the spell and cantrips list, if you please. As you wish. One moment. It's, oh, he sounds off. Is that a different voice actor? Shadow Demon, go. I wonder why they changed him. I hope the voice actor didn't pass away. Um, <laughs> Sebis is his name, right? Hmm. Damn, that's a whole person in there. Are you in need of some assistance? If Dang. If that is the case, then simply ask. Hey, old timer. Where the hell did you blow in from? <laughs> Your mom. Uh, what the crap? <laughs> what the crap? I'm assuming you know this woman. She's one of my employees, one of it. So she's human, yet you forced or- Ooh, took her nails too? Violence upon Damn. Her. As of this moment, you are under my steadfast protection. Like hell she is. I never agreed to that. You will get dead. Welcome back, Lord Sebis. Ask, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? That's rude. Mm -hmm. As a gift for me, so what do you intend to do with it? For now, I think I will have you tend to her wounds for me. Heal it. Mm. Heal it. Could you not have left it at a temple for such treatment? I could have. Imagine me of all people not realizing such a thing. Dispose of it if you wish. I'm like, if you don't stop fucking back talking to me, I'm calling Eins. Saving a person who's in trouble is always the right thing to do. <laughs> Philosophy was also the motto of my creator, Lord Touch Me. <laughs> Lord Touch Me. You have the necessary healing scrolls in your possession, yes? Then use one of them on her. But Lord Sebis, those scrolls were graciously provided by the Supreme One to serve his purposes. You want me to call him? Sinful I'll call him. One on lowly human scum. That is in order. As you wish, Lord Sebis. Man, she's being uh, pretty <laughs> insubordinate. Mm -hmm. This is not something Lord Ainz needs to be bothered with. Am I clear? Yeah, she's being mad uh, disobedient. It looks like the healing magic did its job perfectly. How are you feeling, young lady? I'm sure you're hungry. Eat before it gets cold. I look kind of good. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I hope she's a permanent character because she went through so much. Holy shit. You're all right. <laughs> Look at Sebis, bro. I do not know the reasons you had for bringing that thing into this house, but it received those injuries from being exposed to certain types of people. Whoever did this to it will be very displeased when they find out it's still alive. They'll come looking. If, and I do mean if that happens, then I will deal with it accordingly. Mm -hmm. For now, I want you to wait and see what happens for a little while. She's starting to piss me off. Can't you do mm. that? Solution. Blade technique. Whistling witch. 
<laughs> There's no way. Didn't he cry and run? Yeah. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most bitch shit ever, bro. Hey, he lived and everyone else died. I'm with him. That's that's very true. It's just the way he did it. He could have just turned around and ran <laughs> instead of running and wailing. Oh, that's our guy. His name is Gazif. Brain. Strong. Brain, that's right. <laughs> Talk to me. What the hell happened? I found out how weak I really am. No matter how hard we fight or how far we manage to push ourselves, the human race won't see those heights. Dang. That's the truth. Plain they're treated like shit in this world. Well, I wonder if they're like the main race, you know, ruling no. everything. What I saw wasn't mm. even a height. I was so utterly lacking in ability that it was just a game. It was almost funny. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! What the fuck? It turns them into zombies? Everything is ready here. Flawless. I know. I was watching you. I'm moving to the next location. This won't be worth the trip if we don't catch the biggest fish possible. Oh, fucking hell. Won't do much, but it should buy us what little time we'll need. If we can't strike a blow that will turn things around, this is futile. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Burning the crops of like an enemy so territory well. or something? I hope the people of the village can get away from it in time. Remember, we're burning the plant that diabolical drug Black Dust is made from. Mm. Ah, uh, okay. But now, we're burning a different site than this. That's the plan. We have to strike where we can. I've returned. Happy <laughs> hunting, Evil Eye? <laughs> eh, you tell me. Catch. This should just be introducing shit, like, randomly. Why don't you bring us in on it? Mm -hmm. Your group of nobodies is worthless. They can't protect Jack. And if things get hairy, we'll handle it with a smile. Okay, so here's what I think. I think that girl, Tawari, 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 mm. um, I think she has something to do with the eight fingers. Like, I feel like she was like, because remember, he was like that. If you take her, I'll be dead in minutes or dead before the night is up or whatever. It's probably mm. because because of something like that. Like, he probably worked for them. And, <laughs> and I don't know who those those other characters were, either the two ninjas and the fucking. I guess they're they're trying to fight the eight fingers like they're trying to like stop them yeah they're probably from the ruling kingdom because they all seem like they're kind of upstanding and rich and resourceful and whatever mm. uh so they're probably from some kind of kingdom and just trying to stamp out this drug problem that they have going on mm. uh, by burning these crops uh, yeah we were introduced to a, a lot of uh different characters uh there was naruto and sakura at the end <laughs> uh <laughs> They're gonna smoke uh, you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mask girl seems interesting. They did say her name. I didn't catch it. Mm. Uh, but she seems to be some sort of mage. Mm. So I'm interested in her. There's not really much to say. It was just setting up on the eight finger situation mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, what they're all about. I will say I really like Sebis. I like I like what he did. You know, he didn't have to yeah. do that. He could have left her to die, which it looks like she was dying a painful death anyway. Right, yes. so he definitely did not have to do that. I hope that she becomes like a main character, like we see her again later. Like Ainz is like, oh, we can find use for her. But I also feel like there are no humans in Nazarek. For her to be there would be like, I feel like everybody would hate her because <laughs> she's a human. Yeah, you know. Sure. So unless I Ainz mean, is like, you better not hate her. I think it was cool how they had Sebus being very empathetic. Mm -hmm. and helping someone who was down mm -hmm. because to me he seemed very cold and calculated mm -hmm. uh 
but he he lives up to how he looks and that he's sort of gentlemanly like a butler yeah and i thought it was interesting that he was influenced by his creator touch me uh, <laughs> yeah who had said yeah justice and helping people is always the right thing to do so mm-hmm. that was cool uh and it'll be interesting to see if the rest of the floor guardians are influenced by their creators as well yeah yeah seb is fucking saved somebody we got ninjas now we got a drug dealer ring we got a criminal organization we got all types of stuff Sebus has a heart all types of stuff happened last episode so now we're gonna find out what happens this episode go first up i really like the show i can't i can't be rich next is the reconstruction <laughs> and equipment fund for the lizardmen villages that leaves freaking chump change dang <laughs> nim nine we're not rich we poor <laughs> never enough money expenses piling up when your broke happens in every world huh? <laughs> i would just rob somebody yeah he's like stronger than everyone yeah I'm fucking Ains, bro. I'll lift your mansion and bring it to where we are and take all your stuff. <laughs> Why don't you call it a day? Uh, Lord Stronoff. Stronoff. There's no point in overdoing it. Rest up. That's our guy. Of course. Since you won't rest, how about a practice match? With you, <laughs> I just said I was about to rest. Any day now. <laughs> if you won't, that's fine. I will! <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> I thought we were practicing with swords. Is all I'm carrying doesn't mean you should focus your attention on it. <laughs> fuck! Oh shit! I told you, stop focusing on what's in my damn hand. Martial art fortress. Ooh. That's right. Here we go. Martial art slash. <laughs> I'm getting invigorated. <laughs> now I'm going to take this a bit more seriously. Yeah, look at my meat. I'm hard. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Gazif could be a protagonist to his own show. I did a good yeah. job of controlling myself, considering your bones are still intact. Whoa, fuck. I'm just bruised. That's all. But climb. You have that same talent. Climb. All you have to do is. <laughs> what the fuck? He's as strong as he's ever going to be. Damn. That's what adventurers would call capped at gold. But while he's capped at gold, ability, he's not limited by experience. Only time will tell. <laughs> ah, the ever dutiful climb. On your way to visit that monster, I presume. Monster? I am. With all due respect, Highness, Princess Renair is a kind hearted and beautiful treasure of the kingdom. I'm fairly certain that monster is quite aware of our opinion of her. Is she like a dragon or something? <laughs> I think she's just a person. What's a commoner doing in here? The princess has bizarre tastes. How do you know what when somebody's a commoner? The talking shit. <laughs> I was wondering where you were. Morning, princess. Sorry I'm late. Lady Indra. Uh Oh, her. Oh shit. Oh, okay. This is Tina. Oh, is she the one with the mask? It's a pleasure to meet That'd you. That'd be crazy. Yeah, the, name is Climb. the princess? I'm well aware of your exploits. Now, back to what we were discussing. About eight fingers, right? Where'd we leave off? I'm pretty sure I covered how we burned the fields they use for producing black dust materials. Okay. Yes. On that note, I can't thank you and Blue Rose enough. My brother and the nobles do nothing but quarrel among themselves. If they keep allowing eight fingers to secretly do business... Okay, maybe she's not, because she didn't know. It will fall into ruin. Hmm. From the inside out. Oh shit, who's this? I am Staffan Hamish, a constable charged with keeping the peace here in our glorious capital. What can I do for you, constable? There's an establishment. Well, his establishment, actually. Call me succulent. Suck me, lady. That's a fucking pun, a too. Pleasure to meet you. Sword. Gave him an exorbitant amount of money and made off with one of his employees. So, my lady, has someone in your house been especially naughty? This is boring. <laughs> I will let my butler Sebis deal with this touchy matter. 
I'm sure he can handle things from here. Mm -hmm. Good day, gentlemen. What would you say to loaning us the lady of your house instead while the girl recovers? Oh, indeed, wow. your lost income must be compensated. Your excessive lust must be a problem for you. Ah, oh, how dare you? Lust has nothing to do with it. I am merely upholding the law that came at the noble behest of the eminent golden princess Renair. I will not stand here and suffer your insult. Now, now, there's no reason to let your blood boil, Lord Havish. We'll return the day after tomorrow for your decision. I hope for your sake it's the right one. I hope we get a time skip. We'll see. Won't we? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Give me a time skip. May I ask what you plan to do? I think I'll go for a short stroll and figure it over. <laughs> oh, shit. Stroll into the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stroll right into your ass. Message. Oh, Hello, shit. Lord Ains, can you hear me? Are you serious? I'm surprised to have you contact me. There's a chance that Lord Service has turned on us. Oh! Mm. Uh, really? <clears throat> no kidding around. If you don't have proof of this accusation, punishment will be swift. Is there any? Yes, Lord. Yo. I mean, triggered. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? She's fucking annoying as shit, bro. Now Irons is going to have to come and deal with this shit. And when he shows up, he's going to be pissed because he's busy. Because how would this, how, how could you explain this as betrayal? Like, how could you take that and be like, oh, he saved the girl and had me heal her. And like, how is that betrayal? I mean, she, she has a, she seems, I believe her name Solution. Mm. And she seems to have a similar mindset as Albedo. Back in, I think it was episode three or four, Albedo was like, why did you save these humans? They're like below us. They're not mm. worth anything. Mm -hmm. So she probably has the same uh, yeah, position I'm, on the yeah, topic. I'm sure I'm sure she does. But I feel like Ainz is going to be like, shut the fuck up, because he did save those humans. He'd be a mm. hypocrite. You yeah. know? And all Sebus has to say is, I mean, Touch Me told me I need to save whoever. Mm. So, is it that your man's? <laughs> your man told me justice and all that shit. So, I did what I yeah. was programmed to do. Is it just his mind that's in this fucking game? Or is, like, did he die in real life? Like, what the fuck? That shit is still on my brain. And I'm sure they'll probably never address it. But, like, mm. this was once a game. He probably had a helmet on or something. Like a VR setup or whatever, and just never woke up. <laughs> like, I don't. Yeah. I wonder, wouldn't it be crazy? Just, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Wouldn't it be crazy if, like, the final season, episode ten, right, is him getting revenge on the people who made the game? <laughs> like, there's like a big like thing on the outside world in japan and he has to use everything he learned from the game to thwart the evil of the game developers or some shit i think that would throw me off <laughs> well, he's, he's gonna go find glenn johnson the 45 year old uh programmer <laughs> you did this to me now look at me and my family <laughs> you made me think i was eins all gone on to my favorite part of the episode which was Klein and Gazif. Mm. Gazif is the chief warrior. Mm -hmm. So he's supposed to be really strong amongst the humans. And it was interesting to see sort of his level compared to someone who's more like an apprentice, Klein. Mm. And Klein still has skills. He's got some really cool skills, some blocking and attacking skills. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's interesting to see all the sort of lower level people. Um, out of the side characters, I think I like Gazif the most yeah like outside of uh albedo and yeah, yeah, yeah. those guys yeah. yeah same i agree uh i also thought it was funny that they said that gazip said that uh climb would be stuck in gold like mm. and it reminds me of like street fighter and like people in like rank matches or like when they play apex and shit where it's like oh i'm stuck in gold i'm i can't get out and move to the next yeah. level like platinum or something like that so i thought that was funny so it's like if he keeps if he keeps practicing, he might maybe one day make it out of gold, which is kind of like Street Fighter. Like if you stuck in gold, you know, if you keep playing, eventually you'll make it out yeah. of gold. You know, as long as you 
practice and learn kind of like what Gezif was saying so it's it's yeah. i don't know i don't know if they intended it to be that way but it's like there's a parallel between the games and shit so i thought that was dope but yeah that was usually like 50th percentile or something right yeah like gold was trash yeah gold is like <laughs> the average players the average or like above average play like slightly above average players is like gold yeah. you know so like if you know how to play you'll make it to gold you know yeah. but if you're talented you'll make it out of gold or if you practice and all that shit so but yeah so i thought that was dope climb's cool want to see more of that story yeah yeah climb's kind of cool his name is weird as hell but yeah he's kind of yeah. cool <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wondering how Ainz is gonna react to this betrayal shit but we'll see anyway let us know yeah. what you guys think in the comments if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos check out our Patreon and our social media join the discord for further discussion and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>